Today, I'm going to be reacting to Code Blue Cam's video titled Women Fleeing Police at 137 Miles Per Hour Runs Out of Gas. We're going to be watching this video in order to see if this woman could have mitigated the legal trouble she's going to be in. I'm going to keep a tally on the side of the screen to show y'all the crimes I think the woman might not have been charged with if she would have known her rights and acted like a lawyer would have told her to. Vehicle traveling 119 miles per hour in a 70 mile per hour zone. Okay, so if the police radared this lady at 119 miles per hour right then and there, likely we have enough to convict the woman of speeding. So add that to the likely to convict tally. Okay, here it says, after the officer attempted to conduct a traffic stop, the driver accelerated and reached a speed of 137 miles per hour before taking an exit. So under the suspicion tab, we're gonna put evading the police because we suspect she's evading the police, but we actually don't know. It could be that she never saw the police. Down. Why are you driving like that? 137 miles per hour? Got your driver's license with you? What's going on? Maybe can you turn the car off for me, please? You're not gonna take off or go anywhere, are you? Okay, is this your car? Do you have the registration paperwork? Thank you. What's going on? Are you having some issues or are you upset? For, what about? How much have you been drinking? Okay, a few things. First, if you get pulled over and you're the driver and the police ask for your identification, you have to give them your identification. Additionally, if the police ask you out of the car, you have to get out of the car. That's according to the Supreme Court. Number three, while the police might not be able to search your car immediately, or even if you don't give consent for them to search your car, they can still look at things that are in plain view. Here, the officer sees a Modelo can, a half empty Modelo can, in the cup holder. So now we have suspicion of her driving under the influence because of the existence of this beer. At this point right here, the driver should be courteous and respectful, but should cease all voluntary communication. Answer the basic questions, hand over your driver's license, hand over your insurance, get out of the car if they ask you out of the car, but then repeat the following. Officer, respectfully, I'm not going to talk about my day or answer any questions voluntarily. I will cooperate and give you all information that I must give you under the law, but that is where the buck stops. I hope you appreciate that I'm protecting my rights, and I won't speak further without my lawyer present. Need backup. Okay, so we're skipping to the point where this officer is now in his car running some background information, and another officer came to the scene and was talking to the driver. And what you can see here is very important. So I'm going to get out of the way. So in the meantime, she ran out of gas and she confirmed to the police that she ran out of gas. Now, what does this make the officer believe? It means that she only pulled over because she ran out of gas and not out of the goodness of her heart to cooperate. So even though she didn't outright say she was running from the police, her not stopping plus her increasing her speed to 137 miles per hour circumstantially it does look like she was trying to evade the police so i'm moving this from suspicion to likely enough evidence to convict and why is she getting that extra bump because she talked zip it What's 
classic use method. I don't know. Okay, so because of the beer can, now there's another officer there, and they're trying to figure out whether or not she's intoxicated. The police officer is talking to her. She's already admitted to being a drug user. Now, she has admitted to using drugs in the present tense, but it is not a good thing that you have a history of using drugs drugs and this can all be prevented if you just zip it zip it and before we keep going i don't want any karens in the comment section saying oh tom you're helping people get away with blah 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 blah. Eh. zip it i sue dui drivers all the time i hate people who drive under the influence it drives me crazy but this is a good example of learning how to preserve your rights and not make it worse for yourself if you are the one getting questioned by the police. Innocent people get arrested all the time because they do not know their rights. I don't want to hear it from you, Karen. Do okay. you have contacts in your eyes at all? No. Do you have any issues with your eyes? You just put your feet together and get to the side there, okay? Just make sure you just try. Head still watch with your eyes only, okay? So this is the gaze and the stigmas test. What the officer is looking for is how smooth these eyes are moving because if you're intoxicated, the eyes will jump from one point to another or they'll go up and down depending on what drug you're on. This is an incredibly inaccurate test doing it in field conditions. It is just very tough. I mean, look how stimulating this environment is. These tests really are not reliable. You should not consent to them, especially if you're sober, especially if you are sober. Listen to that. I've said this about a gaze and stimulus test before. I have a lazy eye. If I did a gaze and stimulus test, my eye drifts. What's the officer going to think? Notice how the description says that she shows no signs of physical impairment? None. Okay, so after the gaze and stigmas test, they have her walk toe to heel, heel to toe for nine steps forward and back. And for anybody questioning that wobble, that is a really hard test to do, even if you're sober, especially if you're sober. I'm sober right now, watch this. <laughs> then they give her a breathalyzer. Blow, blow, you're not even blowing. Get a blow. Blow, 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 blow. There you go, you can stop. All right, all zeros. When's the last time? All zeros. Machines like the breathalyzer are often calibrated terribly. You could have a zero, 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 and it shows up not as a zero, zero, zero. But the single most important thing of all of this, of all of this, and I want y'all to take notes. Do the officers give up because she passed the field sobriety test and just let her go? Or do they keep digging? Shocker, they keep going. So why would you willingly give them more info the sad reality is is if you're in this position where they are testing you on the side of the road you are probably going to jail either way you're only giving them more evidence yeah using the narcotics you think So the police generally need probable cause to search your car. Now, a lot of people might be saying, well, Tom, they probably already have probable cause because uh, she was speeding. Well, speeding isn't an infraction that would um, correlate to them searching the car. And of course, probably the stronger argument is the existence of the Modelo in the car. Well, she said the Modelo was old and that's probably corroborated by her doing great on the field sobriety test. So. I'm not quite sure if there's probable cause to search the car right now, but that doesn't matter. She at least had a chance, a fighting chance before of them not searching the car. But if you just consent to the search, you just threw away your rights. Want to just come back here then, okay? You can leave your purse there for now. I'll get it for you.
So the police searched the vehicle and found a smoking device with burn marijuana residue and a grinder with one gram of marijuana. So now add possession of marijuana into the likely enough to convict category. You got enough to fill in the you know about it? Yeah. You said, I said, so why'd you head eastbound, get off, and then come back westbound? She's like, because the officer pulled out and turned his lights on. I said, so you just kept driving back. Yeah. Like, Ah! Did y'all hear that? She just blatantly admitted to evading the police. Okay, so where do we stand? Well, regardless of her actions, she's likely getting convicted of speeding, no matter what. She's going 137 miles per hour. But the evading from the police charge, which now they definitely have enough to convict, could have potentially been prevented. Again, I say potentially, there were some circumstantial evidence. But her running out of gas and just blatantly admitting that she was running from the police is pretty damning evidence and the possession of paraphernalia charge that she's going to get that would have been prevented as well had she just not consented to a search and the last thing i'm doing is advocating for people to do illegal things but it's important to know your rights all right y'all talk to you later bye